Alright, so I want to take a moment to thank you for tuning in to Prototype This 3D, and I'm Clyde. And today I'm working on a kind of a bit of a strange trophy of sorts. This is going to be a long process because I have got a ton of little things to do with this. This is the first part where we're cutting. So before I get into all the pieces, let's watch it go. Yep, and we're still burning. Still burning. We almost have a circle, though, so that's cool. Yep, still burning. And we're definitely doing this too hot, just so you know. I'm trying, I'm going for depth in a single pass. So, I don't recommend that. Ooh, and it's finally done. So now we're going to turn our heat down a little bit. Because I really don't want to go too crazy. We're going to start the vector cut side. So here we go. Look at that. I think that feels a little hot. So we're going to turn the heat down a little bit. We want to go with a nice controlled burn. We don't want anything to catch on fire. So we're going to keep turning it down just a little bit until I get a nice consistent burn. I'd rather it go through. Plus I didn't actually depth this, which I should have done. So my laser is actually out of focus. Um, which is not great, but it's too late for me to fix that now, unless I want to waste material and start over again. I don't want to waste material and start over again, so. Oh, so pass one is done. And in theory, we could turn the heat up a little bit on this run. But I'm going to run two passes at the same heat. And we're going to see how this works. Mm, no change. So we'll probably wait until I pull this. Oh, look. We're doing more engraving. But I will say that this piece did come out. But this is also the second time I ran it. Because the first time it was so out of focus that it was taking forever to cut. So we'll come back to that. Oh, we're getting closer. We've only got one more part to cut. One more piece to go. Let's see how this plays out. All right, so this is part three. Um, it's gonna be like the front and the back portion of what I'm working on, which you'll see. And uh, yeah, so gonna keep going. Looks like we're just about done. Just one more to go. Okay, so sometimes when you're playing with the laser, you do things wrong. So I did things wrong, but I'm okay with that. I don't mind ever making a mistake because without mistakes, you don't learn. So let me get this in position here and I will explain. So I didn't cut all the way through. So this part right here, a little bit shallow so what I'm gonna do instead is like I would like to fast forward through this which we may do still I don't know depends on how sharp this is um, but we'll go and just kind of lance this just a little bit and see if we can free this out because really just need to get this done this is a uh, very specific prototype so uh, Let's see, so what we can do is come up from the back side here. Um, keep your fingers away from where the knife's gonna come out, obviously. I mean, I say that, obviously. But sometimes you get a little crazy when you're doing stuff and you're not paying attention to what's going on in the area that you can't see, so. All right, so we got a starting point, so that's good. So we're gonna just kind of come in here and skewer this thing we're gonna skewer it good there we go I'm not concerned about clean clean lines at the moment because this is actually going to have a whole lot of stuff involved but for the intents of what I'm doing right now we're just gonna try and free this out 
All right, so it's going to be two pieces, apparently. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Let me try to... There we go. So it may end up being a couple pieces here, because apparently I have a knot. Hold on. I gotta, I'm going to pause this. Okay. So what do we got? So we've got this. This is actually two pieces that we had seen cut that are glued. This will be the insert that I can push all the way into the center, which is going to have stuff written on it or upon it. This is the topmost layer. And so when I put this together and assemble it, I'm going to have to do a little bit of sculpting with the sander. But for now, we could probably glue it. So we're going to glue this. <laughs> and I'm going to use some Elmer's wood glue. If I can get it open. That. Ooh, it always seems to be a problem of mine. Um, so we're going to put a dab on this and we're just going to, instead of pulling out my paintbrush, I'm just going to like sh smear it on there and we're going to just kind of, we're going to look at the grain and I kind of like that the grain is kind of, kind of narrowing towards the bottom. So I'm going to face this that way because I like that. I think it looks cool. And then I'm going to do the same and look and see which side we like better. This side, I'm going to sand and I get a little chunk taken out. So I think <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to dab some glue on there and then really fine grain on this one. So we're just going to pop that right there. And we're going to say, it's good. So, what, ultimately what this is going to look like is, I need to sand this. So, give me one second. Mm. I like it. Well, I think this is coming out quite well. So, why don't we do what we're supposed to do. This is actually going to go inside here. I can get that to fit just right. Paint is still a little bit tacky because I just painted it. But we want to get this kind of in the middle. And we want to twist it a little. Although, you know, maybe, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's see. We need some sanding in there. Just a little sanding. Do we have something that will fit in there? Ooh, I think we do. We're gonna like squish that in there like this. And we're just gonna turn it. Like I said, this project has got a ton of sanding to do on it to make sure everything is nice and smooth. That sounds smooth. I have to clean it off. But before I close this video, I want you to see. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So what I have to do is do a little. Ah, boy. Did not want to budge. I don't want to ding that up too much, so I'm gonna. Oh, I went too far. Oh, I went too far. All right, let's try this again. Oh, oh, oh! There we go. See, I want it to be tight fitting, but not impossible. Okay, so I. Uh... 
I have to get that just right because I don't want to go too far. Oop, that one did. So we want to. It's going to be a little tricky to get this perfect. Oh, I done messed up the back. Look at that. It's a little crooked. But I think it actually says what it needs to say. So that is good. So we're gonna just kind of. Nope, not like that. We're gonna let's see if that. There we go. Much, much better. So now it's in the kind of in the center. It's not perfect, but this is a prototype, and we want to see if we can make this work. So what we need to do is we are now going to seal this, at least this side. So we're going to take some glue. And we're going to lube this thing up real good. Because this is the side that we, we're not really feeding it from this side anyway. We're feeding it from the other side. So I'm not going to necessarily glue that on just yet. But I do want to glue this side on. Because I want to get that nice and clamped. So we're going to take this. We're going to run it over here like this. We're going to put a clamp on it here. Hmm, maybe not. I think we're going to have to use a different method of clamping, which is also fine. So what we're going to do instead is, hold on. So we're going to try to do it this way. So that way we're putting the pressure on all at once instead of on just one area. We'll see if that works. Oh, that works good. And we'll put another clamp on there just to be safe. Something didn't sound good. So we're looking. Um, I think we're going to be okay. I do. Well, oh, maybe not. I think we're going to have to let loosen that clamp a tiny bit. There we go. Just a little, little pressure. All right. Well, anyway, you have seen the project for today. I will post another video when I have it done. Because I think we're going to do some molding from this. So, you guys have a happy new year. And thanks for watching.